Aaron Diaz is summoned to the hospital yeah, after school bully Justin oh, injures Aaron's scary. hemophiliac son Tate, triggering a hemorrhage that requires a blood transfusion. Aaron is briefly joined by his sister Karen and also receives counsel from hospital chaplain Father Kane. Shortly after his release, Tate begins developing the athletic strengths and sunlight weaknesses of a vampire. Uh, yes, school custodian Mike there. observes an incident in, in which Tate suspension. raises Justin Just by the throat day. with one hand. Recognizing the boy's affliction, Mike plots with tavern owner and covert vampire hunter Earl to destroy Tate. Aaron catches both men in the act of preparing to behead Tate with an axe after they break into his house. Tate suddenly leaps across his bedroom and kills Mike by draining the blood from his throat. Earl leaves Aaron with the axe and tells him he will have to decapitate both Mike and Tate. To prove to himself and to his father that he has indeed become undead, Tate shoots himself with Mike's gun and survives unharmed. Aaron takes Tate to stay with Karen while he investigates further. Aaron returns home, hesitates with decapitating Mike, and ultimately buries the man's body in the woods. Aaron also has another nightmare involving Tate and briefly meets with Earl to ask about possibly reversing vampirism. Aaron traces Tate's transfusion to blood donor Abigail Dasher. At gunpoint, Aaron confronts Abigail in her home and forces her to cut herself. When Aaron realizes Abigail is human, he apologizes before hurriedly driving away. Abigail snaps a photo of Aaron's car and contacts police. Aaron recalls hospital chaplain Father Kane being alone with Tate. Aaron tracks down the priest and discovers Kane is the vampire who turned Tate. Father Kane explains that he merely wished to save Tate's life so that Aaron would not lose his son. Aaron then contacts Earl for direction on what to do next. Aaron visits Tate at Karen's house. Tate admits that his bloodlust is growing. Aaron drains his own blood into a glass so that Tate can feed. Meanwhile, Father Kane drains the blood of a dying hospital patient after administering last rites. Aaron returns to Father Kane to learn more about vampirism. As the two men pray together, Earl enters unexpectedly and quickly beheads the priest. Earl and Aaron collect Cain's blood. Karen panics when she discovers Tate disappeared. Tate terrorizes Justin from outside his window, but ultimately returns to Karen's house without harming the bully. Officers Lopez and Vaughn detain Aaron outside his house over the incident with Abigail Dasher. Earl restrains both policemen at gunpoint so that Aaron can rush over to Karen's. Tate tells Aaron that he couldn't kill Justin. Tate tells his father that he wants to die and asks Aaron to kill him. Instead, Aaron creates a concoction according to Earl's specifications using Kane's blood and sulfur. Tate drinks it. Because Aaron was unable to go through with the decapitation, Mike resurrects as a vampire and kills Officer Lopez. Earl decapitates Mike with a machete before Mike can kill Vaughn. Tate goes into violent convulsions as his skin transforms. After Tate settles down, Aaron sits with the boy as he gradually reverts back to human form. Earl calls Aaron to tell him that the cops will no longer question him. In the background, Officer Vaughn helps Earl bury the beheaded bodies of Mike and Officer Lopez. Back at Karen's house, Tate walks outside and steps safely into the sunlight. 